Twas the night before Christmas, when all through ancient Greece, not a number was negative, not a single decrease. Pythagoras was reading by the chimney with care, in hopes that Hippasus would soon disappear. The numbers were rational, all snug in their ratios, harmonious and balanced, nothing was to oppose. When all of a sudden, a rebel came by. Hippasus was stoked, with an idea in his mind. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, the square root of two became a serious matter. When talking about band numbers, you first must go back to the beginning. While the concept of numbers were created by humans around 5000 BC, it took another 4500 years before humans would develop them into bigger concepts and lay the foundation of modern mathematics. The man who many consider to be responsible for this is Pythagoras, a Greek philosopher. You may have heard about his name before in things such as the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagoras was a remarkable man. Not only did he make significant contributions to mathematics through his discoveries, but he also founded his own cult. Well, I don't know if cult is the right word, but it certainly did behave like one, especially when coming across people who had different beliefs, as we will talk about later. Many people admired Pythagoras' accomplishments and wanted to learn from the legend himself. And so, Pythagoras founded the School of Pythagoranism. The school taught a wide array of ideas beyond just pure mathematics. Rather, Pythagoranism was a way of life, including some odd things such as vegetarianism and how the body and soul were intertwined, but nevertheless, when it comes down to the vegan meat and potatoes of numbers, Pythagoreans believed that only rational numbers existed. They loved rational numbers because they made sense and thought that anything in the entire universe could be expressed as a number or a ratio. This idea of a perfect world made up of a balanced quantity of numbers gave Pythagoreans a sense of peace and harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Well, perhaps not the Fire Nation, but he was killed by water. His name was Hippasus, another Greek philosopher and disciple of Pythagoras, who just like his teacher was fascinated with numbers. One day, Hippasus came across a number that could not be written as a ratio and so he discovered irrational numbers, particularly the square root of two. However, when he presented his theory to his peers, they responded with anger and utmost arrogance. The Pythagoreans saw irrational numbers as a great danger because it went against the teachings of Pythagoras. They believed that irrational numbers would cause imbalance and destruction to the world. Now, they could have acted as civilized intellectuals by respectfully disagreeing with Hippasus and booting him out of the club, but instead they reacted as if he became a devil worshipper and forced him onto the Titanic. The history here is a little unclear. I'm not sure if Hippasus ever met Rose or Jack, but either way, he drowned at sea and he was never seen again. Following his death, Pythagoras banned any mention of irrational numbers in his school, and once again, the world regained balance and harmony. Historically, numbers have been banned due to a multitude of reasons. However, in this case, the banning of irrational numbers discovered by Hephaestus was clearly due to arrogance, and it points to a deeper issue within humans. As humans, when we are presented with an idea that goes against our own, we naturally become defensive and retaliate. Hepsis was only one of the many people in history who died due to their quote-unquote outlandish ideas, such as Galileo. Yet, it was only after their death that people realized that the ideas that they presented were true. So I think the moral of the story here is to be more open-minded, and we should accept ideas that go against ones that have been proven before us. After all, progression is an inevitable part of being human. I am sure there will be more hypotheses in the future. When they present unique ideas, we should take them seriously if we want to better understand science and everything around us. Thank you for watching and goodbye.